In the rugged hills north of Guerneville, the Wallbridge fire continues to burn. Cal Fire crews are defending homes, hoping to keep the flames from reaching Russian River communities like Guerneville. Today, lookouts have cameras that can even help detect nighttime fires. But historically, it was a lone sentry standing guard watching out for all of us. I'm hyper vigilant. I'm a combat veteran in Vietnam. We always have to be looking out. In a minute, we'll meet Jim Campbell, who is on lookout duty today. But first, we have to get there. Let's see where we are. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. We are up here. We are way up here. I'm hitching a ride up the mountain with Monte Rio Fire Chief Steve Baxman, who is also on the advisory committee of this volunteer effort. Years ago, the people of Casadero, the lumber mills and all, got together and decided we better have a lookout. And they formed the Pole Mountain Lookout Association, privately owned and privately funded by donations, but the only time we get any outside money is during the fire season. If it's extreme fire season or if there's a lightning storm predicted, then Cal Fire will pay for the lookout. Pole Mountain is the last active lookout in Sonoma County, one of only about 20 left in the state. What they're going to now is automated lookouts. They have cameras now that can see all the way around, and you can get on a monitor and you can flip the camera and see 24 hours a day what's going on. In an episode of the old TV show Lassie, Timmy and his mom take a turn at their lookout tower. This is great, Mom. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. This is like staying on top of the world. And when we finally made it up to the top, that's exactly what Jim Campbell said. Yeah. Pay me to be in heaven. We have a 360-degree view from 2,204 feet. I can see San Francisco. I can see Contra Costa County, Mendocino. Inside the tiny lookout structure, there's very little room to move. All around are shelves with walkie-talkies, binoculars, maps. And taking up most of the space in the middle sits a big contraption. Mom, what's this thing? Uh, this is an Osborne firefinder. When you see smoke, it helps you locate the exact position. We'll let Timmy's mom and Jim Campbell how? explain how this works. Well, uh, see, this is a map of the whole area. And this outer ring here are azimuth degree. And then the finder revolves as you turn it. And if we, say, spot some fire over there, you look through the slot, line it up with the crosshairs, that'll give you the compass reading. And you report the exact position to the dispatcher. Then what? They will uh, dispatch the, the uh, aircraft, the dozers, the fire trucks. And then the lookout will notify local residents. So that's one of the reasons why we're here. We can spot the smoke, and we have a notebook up there with the names and telephone numbers of the people who live in this area, and we create a phone tree. If you're looking for your own little piece of heaven, you can now hike up to this spectacular spot. A partnership between Pole Mountain Lookout and Sonoma Land Trust has made the mountain accessible to the public and is also raising funds to rebuild the lookout tower and bring back the human touch. This year, 2020, marks the 100-year anniversary of the Monte Rio Fire Protection District, the oldest in Sonoma County, serving seven towns and communities from Northwood to Jenner and up the coast from Shell Beach to Myers Grade Road. Happy birthday from the Wonderland Radio Hour.